going on nomads welcome back to the channel my name is james this is nomad fitness we got a good one on tap for us today it's just gonna be a single kettlebell we're gonna need a medium-sized bell i use a 65 for it we're gonna be moving through three groups of movements the first one's gonna be an advanced kettlebell complex the second one is gonna be focused a lot on rotational work we're gonna get some rdls some corkscrew swings not familiar with these movements i'm gonna have the instructional video up on the screen so have no fear there then the third group of movements that's gonna be a lot of core ground-based exercise but really lighten up that midsection to cap things off. It should take us, say, 30 minutes. It's gonna be 11 working sets all together. Grab your waters, grab a towel if you got it. And if you can, get out, get some sunshine. Almost at that 2,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate y'all for the support. If you've been liking the content, go ahead, smack that subscribe button to further the journey. Share it to a friend, drop a comment, let me know what you think of the workout. Yeah, we're gonna get busy, we're gonna get better today. I'll check in with y'all on the way back, like I do. Let's have a good one. We'll touch base in a little bit. Bye-bye.
bring it up, up. Go, 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 go
going on, people? Thank you for sticking to the end, man. That was a sneaky, sneaky little workout. I don't know if it was the 90% humidity or it was the exercises, but sneaky stuff. I'm, I'm pretty wiped in, in weird ways, you know, like not fatigue from doing a lot of reps, full body tension the entire time with that coiling, cross body stuff. It was a lot of mental as well. Uh, I really like that transverse plane. It was good. A little change of pace for us. I think we've been working with some heavy bells for a while. Last couple of them, medium weight, more complex movements, which is pretty nice. Next week, we'll get back to the heavy stuff. I always find it funny. This is probably the only time that I train direct ab work. I feel like y'all like working the abs. Yeah, I got about 10 sit-ups in me. Deadlifting without a belt, squatting without a belt is definitely different. Doing sit-ups and everything. Ab cramps, not a good time. Also, um, I'm thinking about launching a challenge for you guys. I I've had a couple inquisitive subscribers seeing if I did kettlebell programming or anything like that. I'm thinking about doing a six week shred or some type of bars and bells type of programming for you. One off purchase. If you guys were interested in any of that, please let me know in the comments. And yes, it's something situated for you is let me know if you want it all kettlebell work, if you want, you know, suspension trainer work or barbells. That could be fun just to kind of get a taste of what I do outside of bells as well. Being a strength coach, all different modalities, which is really nice. If that is something that is piquing your interest, please drop a comment or give me your two cents. I'm definitely open to it. If not, we'll just keep on pushing with the kettlebell stuff here at the videos. I appreciate the support. Like I said, it's almost at 2K, which is very exciting. I remember I got my first subscriber. I was super hyped and the excitement is still there. So if this is your first time tuning into the page. Welcome aboard. We're going to keep this thing going on. We're going to get fit. We're going to explore some funky movements. If you've been a supporter for a while, I see you. I see the repeated likers. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.